El Greco employed numerous assistants to help him produce enough works to satisfy the demand for his pictures. This one was probably painted by his studio after his original. The scene shows Christ's struggle between his humanity and his divine mission. He has retreated to Gethsemane, an olive grove just outside Jerusalem, to pray. Only a few olive tree saplings refer to the setting. Christ knows he will soon be arrested and killed. He fears death, but understands that his sacrifice will redeem mankind. El Greco expresses Christ's spiritual and emotional torment through his surroundings, where the natural and the supernatural do battle. A full moon glows, illuminating the surrounding clouds, while another source of light, a much brighter supernatural light, shines down on Christ. A heavenly vision of an angel holding a chalice has appeared before him. In the Gospel accounts, Christ prays that he will have the courage to drink from the cup of suffering. In the distance, we can see Roman soldiers making their way to arrest him. The crucifixion is inevitable. The picture touches on the celebration of communion, the cup representing the chalice that holds wine, Christ's blood, and points to his obedience to God's will. The cup could also symbolize the relief or strength that the angel brought to him. Three of Christ's disciples are shown cocooned in what could be clouds or a sort of cave. They visualize the ultimate sign of human weakness. They have not been able to stay awake to support Christ. Their unusual oval enclosure might be a reference to the Byzantine painting tradition which El Greco, a native Cretan, had been trained in, where figures are enclosed in abstract shapes to separate them from other parts of the narrative. Please pause the video now so you can continue looking at the painting as you discuss your next set of questions.